always be right. Here we go, five, four pounds of potatoes, a little bit of basil, a little bit of oregano, steaming. How to cut your potatoes? Just cut them. Just cut them. About to chow down, just about six o'clock. This is about two pounds of potatoes. The other two pounds will be round two. So it's just a can of uh, tomatoes, no salt added, um, and just a little bit leftovers of that Brazilian bean dish, that Esselstein bean dish from a couple days ago or yesterday two days ago and uh, yeah so this is dish number two around two more pounds like I said leftover dish from a couple days ago which was black beans um, onion garlic pepper and no oil no oil no salt just carbs for the win Question and answer time. Here we go. Simply Vegan, if you want a question answered, put it in the comments below. I'll get to them. Um, we'll see if this is an efficient style. And, uh, yeah, whatever question you have. If you have questions about me, about about being a college student in this lifestyle, about, about whatever. Whatever your question, whatever it is, let me know in the comments below down there. So... Uh, is it possible for a female to put on muscle mass whilst following 80-10-10? And so, and if so, until how long until noticeable results? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So basically, if you want heavy, if you want, if, if you want bigger muscles, if you want biceps, if you want leg muscles, if you want whatever, you have to lift the heavy weights. If you want to be a bodybuilder or if you want to be a cyclist or have the legs of a cyclist or the body of a cyclist do what a cyclist does you don't need the protein the biggest myth in the health industry in the um, weight loss industry in the in the in the sports industry is this fucking notion of protein protein powder whey powder all this shit it's just marketing that's all it is don't believe the marketing bullshit it's all bullshit so, basically, you want to have enough carbs in your diet so you get enough of the nutrients that you need, enough of the energy that you need to do the work that you want to do. So, if you want to be big or you want to, if you enjoy lifting weights, have the carbs so you have the energy to lift the weights. A lot of people say, "Oh, I'm just, I'm just not dedicated," or you just don't have the energy. You just, oh yeah, you know, what? you don't have the energy. You don't have the spark. So many people on campus, even my age, younger. People 18 years old don't have any fucking life in their eyes. They're just... You talk to them and it's like you're talking to a zombie. Wake the fuck up. You have 80 years left on the planet, 90 years, whatever it is, and you're going through life in the prime time of your life like you're a fucking zombie. Makes no sense. You know, don't play the victim mentality. Oh, yeah, life's hard. He throws all these things. Life's a fucking wave. You gotta ride it. Or you're just gonna sink. So ride the wave. Does that answer your question? <laughs> anyway, lift weights if you wanna if you wanna look like a bodybuilder. Don't worry about the protein. If you get enough calories, use chronometer. Use chronometer to see if you get enough protein for your weight or whatever, you know. Easy. So does that make sense? Uh, how long, how fast did you notice dif uh, notice a difference in athletic performance uh, or energy? Almost immediately. As soon as my body said, you know, it was going at this level, and then all of a sudden I stopped using the animal products, it said, wait a second. Wait, you're actually giving us food that we need without all this other bullshit? Without all this crap? Are you serious? And then all of a sudden, pew, just shot up. When I started eating enough calories, phew, shot up even more. So once you eliminate the stuff, that's the biggest difference. That's why I, I wear the vegan shirts all day and people on campus throw banana peels at me and, well, that doesn't happen. It'd be funny if it did. But, because when you lose the animal products, when you lose the honey, when you lose the cheese, when you lose the eggs, when you lose the pork, when you lose the beef or the chicken, the fish, and you gain all these 
delicious plant foods, high carb plant foods, low fat plant foods, you the body all of a sudden has the nutrition, has the energy, has the vitamins and minerals it needs without all the extra bullshit, without the cancer causing proteins from the animal foods, the casein, the methionine, whatever. You just it's it's such an amazing feeling. And every single vegan who's on this lifestyle, who's on this diet, can testament to that. Put your comments below. If you do, if you the same thing happened to you. So, how long did a, a week to see like really solid, a really big difference? Clarity of mind. I mean, just anything you could think of in better. Acne went away like that. I made a video of that. Maybe I shouldn't make another one. Acne went away with that. Like you see my skin. It's completely legit. This beard is banana flavored. Can you dig it? So put your questions down below. Whatever you want to ask. I am here. I hope I just hope I don't repeat the questions. Um, how do you planning on make money? Uh, it's essentially like this. Do what you want to do in life, and the money will follow. We'll find out whatever your passion is, and the money will follow. Well, well, that's stupid. That's unrealistic. Whatever. Try it out. Look at other people who are doing what you wanted to do. If they're not created, look at look at similar people getting the results that you want. And what did they do? Everyone has this advice. And once you once you work on here, once you work on the heart, once you work on your inner game, instead of your out of game, getting the chicks, getting the ladies. If you work on your inner game miracles happen and not to sound too pie in the sky or too crazy or fleety or flunky or flobby the more you focus on you and working on this your chi your meditation whatever your enlightenment whatever the fuck you want to call it getting closer to jesus whatever which is fine if that's what you believe in all i'm saying is that once you start to do that do the inner work you'll find things landing in your lap you'll find relationships oh well, that's because the world becomes a reflection of your inner thoughts. Your universe is a reflection of in here. Your thoughts become your reality. Think about it. If you're all depressed, my brother's a very negative person. A very negative person. Great intentions, but he looks at the world in such a negative way. Looks at his life in such a negative way. He has that victim mentality. What do you think his life is? His life is full of negativity, crappy things that just happened to him, bad situations, and but it doesn't have to be that way. You flip the situation for your favor. Just like flipping a coin. It's just you swip you flip the switch. If my legs were blown off today, I could either say, Oh shit, you know, I won't be able to run ever anymore, I won't be able to bike, I won't be able to do this, I won't be able to Instead of just being the fucking wuss about it, take it like a man. Have the courage to say, this is my situation right now. I'm lucky to be alive. Have the attitude for gratitude. Have a gratitude attitude. And say, now I, I, I have no legs, but I can experience life in a different way, in a new light. Be an inspiration to people. You know, work on my upper body now that I can just wheel all day. It's a choice. In, happiness is a choice in the moment. It's not something you attain. It's not because you get some fucking award or magna cum laude at graduation or get an A on a test. It's all bullshit. It's in here. It's in the moment. So that's how I'm planning to make money. <laughs> um, uh, da, da, da. So yeah, questions are good. Um, if this does, if this isn't working, just let me know. I'll stop doing this type, kind of video. But let me know in the comments so I know. Um, so what's the problem with grass-fed cattle? Um, gra gra grass-fed cattle. Where ba you basically uh, look at Australia. Australia was this beautiful, beautiful, uh, beautiful continent, beautiful country, whatever you want to look at it. Beautiful place with vibrant ecosystems, vibrant trees, vibrant biodiversity, and you start mowing down all the trees to create grass-fed cattle. Australia is the best, is the biggest exporter, exporter and producer of grass-fed cattle. 
fucks up the soils. You take away the trees, you take away the brush, you take away the animals. You, you take away what cleans your air and your water. You do that, you do that enough, you die. Look at the Fertile Crescent. The Fertile Crescent where Mesopotamia and, I mean, um, uh, uh, yeah, Mesopotamia and the early civilization, the Fertile Crescent. You look at it now on Google Earth and it's a desert. It was a fertile crescent. It was the cradle of civilization. Now it's a desert. Why? Because of fucking agriculture. Because of agriculture, this unsustainable agriculture, this animal-based agriculture where over 70% of the grain in the United States goes to feed fucking cattle. It's insane. But we think that, oh yeah, you know, but grass-fed is good. It's just all to fucking make your ego better. It's the same thing when somebody says, yeah, I'm into personal sustainability. Yeah, I, I carry around a, um, a canvas tote bag and I replace my, my lights so they're LEDs, so they're efficient, and I drive a hybrid car. That's part of the fucking problem because your hybrid car is created in China or Japan. Well, the parts are created in China or Japan, and China can't ha doesn't have any fucking fresh water. Seventy percent, over seventy percent of China's surface water is polluted beyond recognition. So that's a problem. <laughs> there's there's cities in China that just spring up because of industry, and they literally just live in these sort of campuses where they work and get two dollars a day or whatever fucking crazy shit and they just work like just freaking robots putting down putting in like electronics or something check out the film edward bertinsky's film um manufactured landscape incredible film you'll kind of see what i'm talking about so so basically long story short grass-fed beef is not the fucking solution it may be the solution to make your mind feel happier. Make you say, oh, well, just like the tote bags and driving the hybrid vehicle. Make you, make, make, might make you feel better for your fucking actions. But it's not actually doing anything. What's doing something is being vegan. What's doing something is living whatever passion you want. Whatever, whatever drives you to help the planet, to help other people. That could be playing the violin and on, for free with, for, for people or making food for homeless shelters or... Going to homeless people and letting them in your house to what I mean, whatever it is to you. For me, it's this shit helping you. <sighs> whatever it is to you, do that, and that will that will help the planet a lot more than buying the fucking eco-friendly cup at Starbucks and saying, "Look, it's made from fifty percent recycled paper. Aren't I awesome?" Come on, let's fucking let's stop with the craziness. And actually do some fucking solution because this isn't going to happen for long. Our, the entire U.S. economy, increasingly the world economy, is full of, is just supported by this cheap Chinese labor. And I don't think I'm any, saying anything bad about China or Chinese people. Don't, don't be stupid. <laughs> all I'm saying is that China's become the biggest exporter of all this cheap crap. I mean, you look at Easter, you look at all the crap that they try and sell to kids, all this in the Easter bags and all this cheap fucking garbage. Inelegant, terrible stuff that we're destroying the planet for. But the entire U.S. economy is based on cheap Chinese imports and oil. So when one of those goes, the entire economy is going to collapse. The entire world economy is probably going to collapse. Because you can't... When you eat, it's, People in China can't drink the, drink the water. They have to import water. People in China actually bought, the Chinese government bought land in Africa so they can grow vegetables because their soil is so fucked. From all the mining for coal and from all the mountaintop removal, from all that stuff. The air is so polluted that they have to wear a mask. They can't go outside without a mask on. They literally can't breathe. They have entire days where they have to stay indoors. It's crazy. So that's what we're battling. That's why I'm so passionate about this stuff. So that's why grass-fed cattle is bad um to answer your question uh do you spend a lot of time alone yeah i do uh i'm pretty sure i'm an introvert um i still haven't figured that out because i think i'm an extrovert but i think i'm an introvert i don't know but i do spend a lot of time alone i, I spend a lot of time alone to recharge uh my batteries um sort of just get just get my mind around what's happened throughout the day. 
meditate on sort of what's happened. Meditate on conversations I have had. Today I had a three-hour three hour conversation with a friend of mine. And you might be saying, oh, but that's such a waste of time. That's whatever. That's, you know. You spend every, every, every day you can make the decision to live your life deliberately. And you should. Live your life intentionally. And for me, that means making the choices, making choices in my life that affect what I want, that, um, that affirm my ideals, be the change you want to see. So I want to see people having more meaningful conversations, three-hour conversations, four-hour conversations, whatever, with like-minded people or with people that disagree with you but are open, you're both open to a discussion. So be the change you want to see. That's just what it comes down to. Um, so yeah, I do spend my do spend a lot of time alone, just just in nature, doing videos. So yeah, a lot of time alone, but a lot of time with people. Um, some best times, some of the best times in my life have been just conversations with people, one on one. Today I spent two and a half hours slacklining with just random people. A couple of good friends of mine came over and slacklined, and we were just. Talking about life, talking about whatever, and it's a great community thing. Same thing with cycling; it builds a community. People come over, they're curious, blah blah blah, and it's, it's awesome. Really good time. Uh, so I think looks like we're repeating the questions now. Uh, yeah, I think that's I think that's it. So, like I said. Yeah, so post your questions down below. Isn't this a good comment? Is this a good comment? Whatever. I don't even think that made sense. So 2,700 calories today. You might be saying, what the hell happened? Truth is, I'm not sure. Um, was I in class all day? Didn't really bring much food. Um, was slacklining for most of the day after class and just completely forgot. Um, drank a lot of water. But like I said, not sure what happened. So, uh, and these potatoes were terrible, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, so here we go. So everything's looking pretty solid. Solid vitamins, solid minerals, protein, easy, 40 grams, more than enough, 5 grams of fat. Talk about a low-fat diet. Yeah. So that's what we're looking at for today. 